Lexus have used their technical know-how to produce one of the first premium compact hybrid cars available, the CT200H. As with other Lexus hybrids, it uses a petrol-electric motor combination to deliver high economy and low running costs. The CT200H feels like a Lexus once you're inside. The attention to detail and the quality of materials impress, while the dashboard is smart and well-ordered with a high-tech feel. There are plenty of cubby holes dotted around the cabin too. You get a lot of equipment for your money, and even the entry-level cars come with alloy wheels, climate control and Bluetooth. Despite being one of the longest cars in its class, the CT200H offers poor passenger space. Legroom in the front is just about acceptable, but the sloping roof line makes climbing into the back a bit tricky, and once you're in, headroom is limited. It's a similar story with legroom. Children and small adults will be okay, but six-footers will struggle. The boot may look shallow, but there's a deep underfloor storage well and overall the capacity is reasonable. Lexus describes the CT200H as a luxury orientated car rather than a sporty one, but in reality we think it strikes a poor balance between the two. The steering is light and responsive and there's limited body roll when cornering, so the car does feel nimble. However, the steering has a numb feel and the ride is unforgiving at low speed, thumping over uneven surfaces. The petrol and electric motors provide a total of 134 bhp and the Lexus is nippy in town. But even with both motors working together, it's slow to accelerate and the CVT automatic gearbox blunts performance. At low speeds, with just the electric motor running, the CT200H is whisper quiet. And even when the petrol engine kicks in, it's still subdued. However, accelerate hard and the gearbox whines and the engine booms, making motorway trips irritating. With an official average of 68.9 miles per gallon and emissions of 94 grams per kilometer, the CT200H is efficient. But rivals from Audi and BMW aren't as far behind as you might think. Ultimately, the CT200H is a disappointment. The impressive fuel economy and build quality aren't enough to offset the high list price, poor ride and limited cabin space. We think your money is better spent elsewhere.